see you cannot be trying to treat hyperpigmentation slash discoloration on your body and you are not moisturizing your body adequate moisturization i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be discussing how to treat discoloration on even skin tone body edition now hyperpigmentation or discoloration on the body can be as a result of different things. It could be as a result of body acne, injuries, insect bite like mosquito bite and so on and so forth. It could be as a result of allergies and so on and so forth. So I want you to note that to get rid of hyperpigmentation on your body takes a lot of work, but it is achievable. With using the right product, being consistent and over a period of time you can successfully fade your hyperpigmentation so if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe and let's get right into the video so the first thing in treating your hyperpigmentation slash discoloration on your body is to stop what is causing the discoloration on your body for example, if it's body acne, try to treat your body acne and keep your body acne at bay. So try to control. You can't successfully treat acne, but you can control it. So try to control your body acne. If you want a video on how to treat body acne, please let me let me know in the comment section. I'll do that video. So try to keep your body acne at bay. If it's insect bite, try avoiding insects biting you and even if the insect bites you please don't scratch because one of the things that make like causes body hyperpigmentation is after insects beat you you now want to scratch it and then you give yourself injury these injuries can bring about pigmentation so try not to scratch on those um, bites from insects and try not to over scratch and then you injure yourself secondly if it's injuries try to avoid injuring yourself up and down falling down injuring yourself if it's allergy you need to know what is causing your allergy is it water is it working on grass these are things like for me water and grass is my main cause of allergy because i'm very atopic so i try not to work on wet grass so you need to know what is causing this allergy on your body and you need to work on them you just try as much as you can to stop what is causing hyperpigmentation because the reason why you have to stop it is because you can't be fading old pigmentation on your body and be getting new ones so as you're dealing with this one you're starting from square one it doesn't make sense so try as much as you can to stop what is causing the hyperpigmentation slash discoloration on your body and the next thing you need to also know is your body type before you start any treatment of any skin condition at all you need to know your body type the skin on your body we all emphasize on knowing the skin type on your face you need to also know the skin type on your body do you have dry skin do you have oily skin do you have combination skin do you have acne prone skin do you have sensitive skin these are skin types on the body i personally i have dry skin on my body yes i have dry skin on my body but i have combination skin on my face so you see the skin on your face can we can be can actually be the same skin type for your body it may not be it may be a different skin type so you need to know your skin type for your body so the second thing is to properly cleanse your skin treating hyperpigmentation starts in the shower so treating hyperpigmentation starts with properly cleansing your skin you make sure you properly take out the dirt the oil, the debris on your body using a pre-cleansing soap first. Now I have a video on my channel that talks about how to properly layer your skincare, your body care routine actually. I'm going to link it up somewhere up and then I'll link it in the, in the description box. So you can check out that video because I won't be going into details in this video. So after cleansing your body with a pre-cleansing bath soap, 
now it's time for your body washes so depending on the severity of your body discoloration i would advise you to leave the dove ole you know the parma you know they are good body washes but if you want to tackle severe discoloration on your body please opt for this body wash i'll be talking about the ole retinol body wash natrium glycolic body wash these are body washes that are going to tackle your hyperpigmentation your body hyperpigmentation from the shower and this body wash you should use them two to three times in a week nothing more than that right so i'm not saying dove and sentai's are not a good body wash they are good they are good but if you have severe discoloration severe hyperpigmentation on your body and you want to start treating them fast 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 sharp 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 please opt for ole retinol body wash or natrium glycolic acid body wash so now after using your body wash still in the shower you're going to rinse out the body wash now you're going to go in with your koji sand soap now for koji sand soap please make sure you're getting the original one after you make sure you have gotten the original koji sand soap now koji sand soap should not be used all over your body you're going to use koji sand soap as a treatment soap so you're going to apply the koji sand soap on the affected areas for example let's say i have patches on my hand i'm going to apply the koji sand soap on that place that i have patch or i have discoloration on my hand and then i'll leave the koji sand soap for 10 minutes yes i said 10 minutes nothing more than that because leave it for 10 minutes then rinse it off now let's recap pre cleansing bar brightening body wash koji sand soap not the other way around i did not say use the koji sand soap for like everything use it as a treatment make it as a paste rub it on the affected areas on your body leave it for 10 minutes then wash off so the reason for pre cleansing bar soap um brightening body wash then koji sand soap to make your koji sand soap to penetrate into your skin better because there is nothing actually blocking the koji sand soap this is just like a clean skin so your koji sand soap will penetrate into the skin better and now when you have successfully treated your hyperpigmentation please stop the koji sand soap you can't use koji sand soap for life it is a treatment soap not a bathing soap or a pre-cleansing bar or a bar soap so koji sand soap is a treatment soap so after treating your discoloration slash hyperpigmentation on your body please discontinue the koji sand soap so the third thing in treating body discolorations like hyperpigmentation is exfoliation if you want to tackle body discoloration slash hyperpigmentation you can never ever skip exfoliation exfoliation is very very important and if you want to see faster results if you want your hyperpigmentation to fade faster especially if you have severe discoloration on your body please opt for both physical exfoliation and chemical exfoliation so that means you should use both physical and chemical exfoliation for physical exfoliation these are body scrubs and body polishes and um, physical exfoliation does is that they take out dead skin cell from your skin so they exfoliate your skin on the surface that surface level exfoliation they don't exfoliate your skin on a deeper level so when you use physical exfoliation first you take out the dead skin cells from your body so you take out all the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin this will remove everything that will prevent the chemical exfoliation from penetrating better into your skin i don't know if you understand what i mean so exfoliate your skin on a surface level to prepare your skin for the chemical exfoliation that are coming into your skin if it makes sense right so example of this physical exfoliation affordable one is kebu salt scrub i'll put it somewhere then you have the dove body polish you have the dr teal's sugar scrub so any sugar scrub any salt scrub 
any body polish any scrub at all is a form of physical exfoliation next thing you then go in is chemical exfoliation now for chemical ex exfoliants this should be a leave-on chemical exfoliation meaning the chemical exfoliation you should use should be a chemical exfoliation you apply on your skin and you don't wash off that means the chemical exfoliation sink into your skin you don't rinse them off or you don't wash them off so now chemical exfoliation can come in form of a toner a serum or a lotion so depending on which one you want to get so example of chemical exfoliation that comes in form of a toner you have the, the ordinary glycolic the ordinary seven percent glycolic acid toner or revlox seven percent glycolic acid toner so for this toner since they are watery they are in liquid form you could get a spray bottle then put it into the spray bottle and then you spray on your skin and then you apply them on your skin then for creams and body lotions example of chemical exfoliations are amalactin body lotion alpha renew body lotion i'm going to put the pictures of these things on the screen alpha renew body lotion amylorax transforming body lotion so these are chemical exfoliants in form of body lotion so for exfoliation both physical and chemical exfoliation please use them at night exfoliate your skin at night and use exfoliation two to three times in a week nothing more nothing less the reason why you cannot exfoliate your skin every day is because you're going to disrupt your skin barrier and you make your skin very very sensitive so please try to exfoliate your skin two to three times in a week and use this exfoliation only at night so the fourth thing is treatment this can be in form of serums or lotions now this is the stage you treat the dark spots on your body so now in this stage you need serums or body lotions that contain retinol vitamin c alpha arbutin trisemic acid kojic acetinoin liquorice extract niacinamide hydroquinone etc this is the stage you need actives that target dark spots these are what you'll be looking for when trying to buy serums and lotion to target your dark spot or hyperpigmentation so for this step you can also use these body serums and body lotions that contain this active three to four times in a week so you cannot be using them every day in a week so you're going to be using these lotions or serum that contain this active three to four times in a week now i'll advise you for the morning time use body lotions slash body serums that contain vitamin c and niacinamide then for the night you can now any other serum that contain any other actives i just mentioned so example of creams or lotions you can use in the morning that contain vitamin c and niacinamide is medics vitamin c cream advanced vitamin c cream nivea vitamin c cream zaron vitamin c cream and then um, face fact vitamin c cream these are lotions you can use in the morning for night time the lotion slash serums you can use in the night is the medics retinol cream advanced retinol cream faded topical body serum good morning discoloration body treatment i'm going to leave the as i'm listing these things i'm going to leave images of them on the screen so the fifth thing is moisturization moisturize 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 see you cannot be trying to treat hyperpigmentation slash discoloration on your body and you are not moisturizing your body when i say moisturize i don't mean you know how you use small cream like this and then you rub it here here you rub it everywhere no one pump for one side of your body one pump for the other side adequate i think the word should be adequate moisturization if you don't moisturize your body 
you're going to scatter your skin barrier why i'm saying this thing is because you can't be using those active you cannot use chemical exfoliant physical exfoliant codison soap um the retina uh, only retinal body wash, all those actives the body serums the treatment serums and co all those active and you will not moisturize my brother my sister you're just going to destroy your body your body barrier please moisturize moisturize like your life depends on it and true true your body depends on moisturization so moisturize moisturize your body adequate moisturization is needed when treating hyperpigmentation if you don't moisturize you only destroy your skin barrier and make your skin your yes you sin hey jesus and make your skin more sensitive like very sensitive so please moisturize and when it comes to moisturization when it comes to moisturizing your skin you need moisturizer that contains no active ingredients you need moisturizer that does not contain all those codison niacinamide vitamin c you need moisturizer that contain only hydrating and moisturizing ingredients so you're going to be looking for moisturizer with adequate hydrating and moisturizing ingredient examples of these ingredients are glycerin hyaluronic acid ceramides aloe vera shea butter cocoa butter different emulant oils you know like avocado oil olive oil jojoba oil grapeseed oil these are the things you should be looking for in your moisturizer so this moisturizing body lotion or creams are going to help to moisturize your skin properly protect your skin barrier right example of this is the scent eyes body lotion nivea body lotion ole body lotion palmas cocoa butter body lotion eos body lotion face fat body lotion vesselin body lotion dove body lotion and so on and so forth there are a lot of body lotion just look for the ones that contain act that does not contain active ingredients look for the ones that contain only hydrating ingredients so these body lotions should be used every single day whether it's the day you're going to use your body treatment or not so moisturization comes after the treatment the days you're going to be treating your skin so after treating your skin make sure you properly moisturize your skin so the sixth thing is body oil this is very very important and when i say body oil i don't i don't mean any random body oil you see but when i say body oil i mean body blending oil so you need to opt for body blending oil example of body blending oils are jojoba oil rose hip oil grape seed oil vitamin c oil lavender oil now these are body blending oils now you could see these body blending oils mix inside carrier oils like olive oil coconut oil avocado oil but make sure any oil you are getting has any of this body blending oil i just mentioned these body oils will help in even out your skin and make sure that your skin complexion is well blended out like this place will not be dark this place will not be fair everything will be well blended out these are what body oils body blending oils does for your skin body oils add moisturization they seal in the moisture in your skin they also give you this radiant and glowy skin aka glass skin healthy skin when people just see like your skin is glowy this is what body blending oil does for your skin so please don't skip body blending oil they are very very good for your skin so for body oils you use them every day after moisturizing your skin 
example of the oils i will recommend is avino body oil dr teal's body oil vesling body oil these are vitamin c body oil and i think they have these are vitamin c body gel dr rachel vitamin c body oil and palmas body oil these are body oils that contain blending oils in them so please do not skip application of your body oil so the seventh and final thing is sunscreen in short this should be the first <laughs> body sunscreen this is very very important you can't be trying to treat hyperpigmentation without using sunscreen you are just wasting your time you can't be trying to fade dark spots without sunscreen you are just wasting your time if you don't want your skin worse than what you started treating please wear sunscreen you can't be using all these actives and be bouncing inside the sun like there is nothing you're just going to make your hyperpigmentation worse than what you even started treating please wear sunscreen if you're going to be using all these actives wear sunscreen if you want to treat hyperpigmentation wear sunscreen so for sunscreen use your sunscreen during the day so every day every single day apply your sunscreen during the day to prevent your skin from the sun and the uv rays coming from the sun for body eh, you you're going to be wearing sunscreen in the areas of your body that is exposed to the sun so for example as i'm wearing this vest or this shirt my hands are exposed so definitely i'm going to use sunscreen on the exposed part of my body and i'm going to also reapply my sunscreen during the day in the course of my movement i'm going to also reapply sunscreen in the exposed part of my body so make sure you are wearing sunscreen example of sunscreen you can use for your body is the hemato jiggy is a korean brand i don't pronounce it i'm so sorry hemato jiggy sunscreen i'm going to put images of this sunscreen you could use bond sand sunscreen and you could also use skin aqua sunscreen even cn sunscreen i'm going to put the images of this sunscreen on the screen please wear sunscreen during the day so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video if you have any question whatsoever please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer all your question thank you so much for watching i love you so much and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you